sample final exam number 20, 21, and 22. For number 20, we have the equation C equals IPV, and we want to solve for V. Treat this just like you would solve any kind of linear equation. You want to look at the variable you're solving for, so we're solving for the V, and we want to clear away any other variables from it and constants and move everything else to the other side. I and P are both being multiplied onto V. So if we want to clear them to the other side, we need to divide them off. So if we divide both sides by IP and balance it on the left, on the right side, I's cancel, P's cancel. So we're left with our answer, C over IP equals V. Number 21 is similar, except we're going to have to do some subtracting instead. We have the equation P equals A plus 3B plus 2C. And now we want to solve for A. So here's the A. We want to get A by itself on one side of the equation. 3B and 2C are being added to it, which means we need to subtract them away. So let's start by subtracting the 3B. If we subtract the 3B over here, it'll cancel out and give us a 0. But we need to subtract it on the other side. And because these are not like terms, we have to just write it out the way it is. P take away 3B. There's nothing else we can do to it. And then write down whatever's left over. A plus 2C. 2C is being added on the right, so we need to subtract it to get rid of it goes to 0. Take away 2C on the left. Again, there's no like terms here. So we just rewrite it. P take away 3B take away 2C equals A. We have A all by itself on one side. That means we have our solution. And number 22 is another kind of equation like this where we're solving for a variable while we have other letters there. We're treating the other letters like constants. So 22, we have t equals 3k plus 3v. And we are solving for k. So let's look at the k. We want to get it by itself. We have a 3 being multiplied to it and a 3v being added to it. Just like regular solving linear equations, always start with the adding and subtracting first, and then move to the multiplying and dividing. So the first thing we want to do is the opposite operation of the addition here. We want to subtract the 3v. That's going to make it cancel out on the right side. Balance it out on the left. So we have t take away 3v equals 3k. The 3 is being multiplied onto the k, so the opposite will be divide, divide it off. Cancels out to 1. Divide the entire left side by 3, not just one of the terms, but the whole thing. So we get t take away 3v over 3 equals k. And we might write the answer in a different format. This is fine to stop right here. But we could also give this 3, the denominator, to each numerator separately, which would be t over 3 minus 3v over 3 equals k. And the 3's would cancel out here. So t over 3 minus v equals k. All right, so either one of these solutions is correct.